Welcome back, everybody, to yet another Smash Brothers related videos from the one and only me, Spood Beast. You've been through this intro about a thousand times, but we have not seen me ever wear a headset in the history of this channel. It's to block out a lot of background noise coming from the upstairs. Believe me, it's necessary. If it sounds a little muffled, I apologize. It's just one little video. Anyway, we are here for today's topic. As we know, I've been doing the wish list over the last, I would say, three months is how long I've been doing this for, so. Let's keep them up, and uh, this week is a request from a subscriber of mine by the name of Gary Garcia, and Gary, I know you follow these videos, you're quite a big fan of this channel, so I know you're going to be pretty humbled to know that my video, I actually got around to making your request, as I will with everybody else who's already sent in submissions, and the future people who I hope will also send in submissions as well. We're making this a fun little ride to E3, so let's get started. Gary requested that I make a video talking about unlockable features for characters. Now, by that he means what you can unlock as for individual members of the roster, what you can unlock as them, and how far you'll be able to go in terms of content. Basically, I know I touch upon this a lot, but basically what they did with PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, which, again, it's hard to really compare that because as much as I love the game and I, I like what, what, what's been done with it, the market for it isn't really there because of various issues. They couldn't get the right characters people expected. The roster didn't turn out all that good, and yeah, you know, games like this are supposed to help with, um, basically with, uh, what's the real the term I'm looking for here, uh, you know, to help sell other games, but they were going way too much, you know, recent Dante, recent Raiden, uh, you know, Bioshock Infinite was coming out, so they had Big Daddy in there for a reason to throw on a Bioshock Infinite stage. You know, it does have its problems, but there are enough characters in there that I do like, and that I think it can be put in the right direction. Once a few good, you know, number of DLC things come out, which is another issue I kind of have with the game. I think, you know, to have a solid roster, it should be, you know, you should have over, you know, between 25 and 30 characters that are all, you know, household names that people enjoy and love. Maybe a few obscure ones in between, but you need to have a, a good set roster in order to, you know, make the game sellable. You know, the DLC market that this game is going for for stages and its characters, I think, hurts it. And with Smash Bros., I don't think we need to worry about that because that's... Not where the game's uh, loyalties lie, however, but with All Stars, the actual characters that you play as would be like before we even started getting the four DLC characters. Um, what you can do with them also is you can unlock certain avatars, you can unlock certain backgrounds for your profile, you can unlock certain taunts, um, certain you know victory poses, certain win winning themes for fighters. All, all that sort of stuff. That's, I think, kind of like basically what Gary's asking me. Is, is, some, is some of this stuff going to be implemented in Super Smash Bros. 4? And I would like to say that, yes, it would be nice to see something like this implemented. But it hasn't been implemented up to this stage. But then again, we go in between. Um, there is also the 3DS version of this game, which I think is going to be more focused on individual play. And when it comes to individual play, I believe you're going to have a lot more things you can unlock solo. Which I think the the, the there's got to be something that separates 3DS Smash Brothers from Wii U Smash Brothers. And yeah, the rosters have to be the same, and I've, I've I've harped on that before. But at the same time, you need something that kind of makes the handheld version stand out. And how to make it stand out better than you make it feel like it's it's more you know single player oriented. And in order to do that, maybe you can unlock a lot of this stuff. And if they want cool crossplay, maybe you can transfer what you've unlocked on 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 your 3DS only, and you could transfer some of that that data to the, to the actual Wii U console. I think that would be awesome. But in terms of that, I think we could unlock you know various different avatars. You know, if we have like really cool different individual Smash Brothers online profiles to kind of go with uh, the Wii U's new direction in terms of online gameplay. And by by new direction, I mean a totally way bigger network and awesome kind of setup than the Wii had. It's still not perfect. It's still not up to standards of what uh, Microsoft and Sony have now with PlayStation, with the PlayStation Network and the Xbox Live, and who knows what you know the PS4 and Microsoft's next console are going to have as well for their online market. But it's a substantial upgrade from from the Wii U. Uh, 
you know, their their online system now is is far, far, far superior to what the Wii ever had. I mean, with the Wii, it was kind of like you know, you just you sent a message like 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 a mail, you know, and and uh, all this, that, and the other. The, the, you know, then we use online network or Meverse or you know whatever you want to call it. It's much more polished. It's you know it, it it works better. You know, like the Wii itself. How many games were, were there that were you know Nintendo Wi-Fi connectable? And you know how good was that when you actually got connected to it? Wasn't all that good. So with the you know with this kind of Meverse gimmick that they got going on, I think that personally we should have cool profiles so you can maybe unlock backgrounds or you know your own profile picture maybe you can unlock you know I forgot about this you unlock titles for yourself based on the characters you play as like master of Hyrule um, uh, King Mushroom you know just stuff that's really a uh, blue bomber you know for like a Mega Man so to speak you know master of ghosts for Pac-Man you know you, you just all this different stuff um, you know, Smash Bros. might be able to take it a step further. Maybe you could unlock, um, you know, besides new taunts, victory poses, victory themes, and different kinds of music. Maybe you can actually unlock, and this is really kind of going up and saying, well, that would be a lot of work. Is Maybe you can unlock, you know, special new moves. Now, maybe not for the entire move set, but maybe there can be individual different, um, like Final Smash type maneuvers if they're going to bring that gimmick back. Now that gimmick was cool in the first one, but I think that you know it shouldn't be an item and there should be a way to implement it through some sort of power system throughout the entire battle. Not like where you have to rely on it in PlayStation All-Stars. We still need to be able to knock each other off the stage, but I think there needs to be some sort of powering system where, you, where somebody... And it takes a long time so that nobody's abusing a Smash Ball so that when you get, it gets over with it, you know, three minutes later another one comes up. We need to make it competitive. It needs to last an entirety of a match to do so. Make it really, really difficult to try and get this. And when one happens, maybe you can unlock another one. And maybe like up to, to like three or four, maybe maybe five different final smashes. Because I'm sure all of you could think of multiple final smashes for a character. With with Mario, uh, you know, he has the hand flame thing. Cool, that was cool. But what if you could turn everybody into a Goomba and jump from one head to another and just kill everybody like that? And, you know, make them, you know, interac interactable, like in All-Stars, basically every single uh, super, you know, levels one through, one through three, where all you all, you can, in, uh, some were screen clears for, for, for bigger levels, but like the level, level ones and twos, and even some of the characters, level threes, you were playing as them to kill them. So I think, you know, we need the interactable, whereas with, with Smash Bros, just most of them, other than like Sonic and, and Snakes and um, very, very few others, Diddy 2 for instance, you know, they were they were frozen animations. And you can do that and that's cool. But I think they kinda need to change it up. Like with Mario, as I said, he had he had the, the Mario Flame thing in, in Brawl. He could turn people into Goombas and, and destroy them that way. He could um perhaps you know, I can't really say use a star because a star is actually a special thing that makes you invincible to getting hit. But for him he could maybe kill people with it as a way. Maybe they can incorporate something from New Super Mario Brothers, where um, he can turn Super Giant Mario and, and squish everybody from you know the uh, from New Super Mario Brothers for for the DS. This is a you can pick any character and you could at least name like three to five different final smashes that these characters could have. I think that would be a different thing because maybe asking for different moves is. Everybody needs to have an ingrained move set. I don't think you can really unlock anything or add to that. Um, so, for best thing is maybe maybe be a little bit more diverse on which uh, which final smashes you can get if they're going to implement that into the fourth game. Of course, it could have been a one-time gimmick. I'm not saying it's going to be, and it most likely isn't going to be. They're most likely going to bring it back, but it's it's you know some food for thought. Another thing is definitely unlockable costumes. Like again, I keep going to All Stars because they really. They really got how to customize your characters in this. And I'm not talking about changing your four colors. I'm talking about legitimate other outfits. The only person who had a legitimate other outfit in uh, Smash Brothers history was Wario. When you could be Wario wear Wario with different colors, 
Or it could be regular classic outfitted overall Wario with different colors. Other than that, nobody had a significant different color. With everybody, you know, Mario included, he could be regular Mario, he could have the Dr. Mario suit, like, that's definitely a clone, you could just put that on him. He could, uh, oh, jeez, how many other outfits has Mario had? He's, he's had a lot. Um, you could think of a lot for him. Luigi, same thing. Peach has about 3,000 different looks. Um, you know, same, same with, same with, yeah, well, DK, I guess, you know, everybody has different different looks and even then with all stars that didn't even follow the rules you know you could be a big dad and it transforms you into a completely different creature from uh bioshock so like it, it's it's kind of interesting to think about uh i'm sure with with mega man there are tons of different character renders that they could use for um you know an alternate outfit uh that i think is kind of needed because changing your color i think is stupid i never i i will never do it I, I don't even change my my costume either because I don't I don't see the point in doing that. I mean, I, I just like playing as the character as is as he was developed to fight. But a lot of people do see potential in that. And I much prefer, um, you know, at least changing the costume and the entire look of your character than just you know a little color palette swap. So I think that is also kind of a must. You know, I'm just I'm I'm comparing a lot of good stuff from All Stars like. The main reason that All Stars isn't doing as well as it is is because of marketing issues, is because of how they decided to handle their roster, and just they did not get the characters that were needed. Whereas with Smash Brothers, every time the character roster has delivered in some form or another, and you know that it's going to deliver again because a lot of the same veterans are coming back and they're going to add a nice surprise name or three into it that are going to make you want to get it even more. So you know these are the things that you got you kind of got to think about. Um, in terms of, of what you can do with each character. Of course, there, and there's going to be um, different game modes for each character in order to get that. Maybe you go through trials. Maybe you got to beat like a, an adventure mode in a certain amount of time. Maybe the things are character themed, like a Little Mac, for instance. Maybe you actually have to punch like, like a, like a beat-em-up bag you know, in order to unlock something for him that's punch-out related. There's just so many different ways they can go with um, in-depth roster uh, unlockable items and the items can be of any sort they can be for profiles they can be for the characters themselves like costumes and music and they can be maybe even you know if you do something special with all the entire roster you can unlock something something huge that's really hidden within the game you know I'm not saying another character but maybe you can unlock a certain game mode or a certain mini game or this that or the other or, or a hidden arcade there's so much potential with using characters to unlock things that aren't actual characters. Which, even that, even though you can, you can kind of do a little bit of a hyperbole there by saying, by playing as a certain character, you can unlock a character with a character. And that's like, like we're getting character inception here, okay? A character within a character that's unlocked through a character. I don't know. But there's a lot of different ways it could go. I would just say they should take a page out of All-Stars book, except for, you know, the roster's gonna, definitely going to be ten times stronger. But, um, you know, do that. Don't do exactly what they do. Actually, do it fucking better because I know that Nintendo can do that. And I know that they will do that. But the question remains, will they do something similar to that or are the characters just going to be as they have been for the past three games? Maybe for the Wii U version, but I think we're in for something a little more on the 3DS. Anyway, that is my opinions on character unlockable features for Super Smash Bros. 4. Uh, comment on this video with what you'd like to see this channel come up with and talk about in the future. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you hated it. Uh, you can personal message me your ideas for this channel. You can also email me at spoobies at gmail.com. Visit www.fanboysanonymous.com. And, of course, I'm just going to do a cheap plug right now, but if you don't listen to it, uh, it within at least the next two videos, meaning this one and the next one, it's getting a video of itself. Please, 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 and I don't plug my social media a lot, but um, follow my Facebook page uh, and my Twitter account. They're both linked, uh, they're both image mapped on the official Spood Beast banner at the top of my channel. I'd be much obliged to do that, but I don't think anybody's really going to listen by the end of this video, so I might need to do a social media plugging whorish like video in the future. So beware or actually, you know, follow those now because I can release content, I can give you sneak peeks, I can, you know, do more with this channel with more people watching when it's just me talking to myself. It's kind of not all that fun to use. 
So you'll get scoops if you follow that. You'll get perks. You know, you get to know when the videos are going to be made. You're going to get to know this. You're going to get to know that. Stuff that, you know, if you're just subscribed to the channel, I don't, I don't update through my YouTube channel, even though I could. I mean, it's social media enough anyway. But to get an inside scoop on anything, follow me on my Twitter account or like my, my, my Facebook page. You'll get to know everything that there is Spood Beast behind, well, behind the webcam screen anyway. So that's all I have to say for this week, folks. I uh, hope you all have a good rest of uh, your Easter Monday, if, of course, you celebrate that. And I'll see you all later. Peace out, everybody.